Hi Aries and welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma and thank you for joining me for your Aries Tarot Love Reading for December the 1st through to December the 15th 2019. Of course time is fluid so if you have been drawn to watch this reading at any other time then there may be something here for you. Through this reading I will be referring to you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising and your person, meaning the person you are thinking of, whomever is most on your mind. But please bear in mind that these energies may well switch, especially if you are cross-watching for an Aries, so take this however it resonates with you. If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it. It might well be that this is just not your story on this occasion and the message is meant for someone else. In that instance, please do go ahead and check out your Moon, Venus or Rising Sign readings or of course any of the other amazing tarot readers here on YouTube. Also, please don't get too bogged down with the gender of the cards. If I refer to a queen card as a she, for example, I am only talking about the energy that is held within that card. Again, take it as it resonates for you and your story. I do not read reversals and this will be a love reading. If I speak about any signs that show up and your person is not that sign, again I am speaking of the energy of the sign. You already know who you have come here for. With that said, let's get on with your reading, Aries. Aries, hi, welcome to uh, your first reading on my channel. This is a love reading, this is a general reading. Aries, my Venus and Mars signs are both Aries. Um, so yeah, I understand your mm, direct, let's say, approach towards matters. Um, if you're interested in knowing what your other signs are, you know, your Moon, your Rising, your Venus, your Mars, Mercury, whatever, you know, you can go on Google, you can look for birth charts, you enter in your details, your information, and it tells you all your placements. Isn't the internet a wonderful thing? Uh, welcome to your love reading for the 1st through to the 15th of December 2019. There's the bottom of the deck. We'll come and have a look at those in, the, in a minute. I'm going to lay this first row here for you, Aries. This is your overall energy. And then this here along the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, will be your person's energy. Again, as I said in the introduction, feel free to flip these characters however it suits you. Overall theme, kind of just get an idea of what we're looking at in this reading today, is the Six of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is divine timing um it's investment it's thinking about the future thinking about things long term you know this guy he's he's tilled the earth he's planted his seeds and now he's waiting to see what will come of it now what have you invested in that you are perhaps walking away from aries time and effort has gone into something and then the six of swords is releasing a baggage moving away to calmer waters moving out of troubled waters into calmer waters um, a transition a change it feels to me that there has been a degree of investment into something and then the somebody is leaving what they've worked so hard on before perhaps collecting the harvest of their investment but as we as the story unfolds and we reveal more cards we, we generally find out where this fits better so this is your overall energy today Aries and this is the knight of pentacles the slowest knight in the deck he, he really does get a bad rap for um, his speed um, but uh, many people, and I said this to Pisces, who also got the Knight of Pentacles in their spread, um, many people do say that the Knight of Pentacles is actually the only knight that crosses the finish line. 
So yes, he might be slow, but he's he's getting there. And he's possibly the only one that will get there. Aries, this is hard work. This is responsibility and routine, perhaps even an element of that daily grind, something that's been worked really hard on. Again, this long-term future thinking, this planning for the future, investing a methodical approach towards something, having a plan, and very much getting an element of something being invested in here and this is a love reading so i'm feeling very much that you aries still want to invest in this situation you're still bringing this methodical approach maybe this is a different approach but again as we pull more cards we shall see your person's overall energy is that they feel trapped but this is self-imposed imprisonment. Again, we only have a few cards on the table right now. So it, it's very difficult to understand why it is your person has placed themselves in this self-imposed prison right now. Why it is that they have put this wall around them. Why it is they are refusing to see something. Why it is they're refusing to take action on something. Your action may be very slow, Aries, but it's action nonetheless. The Knights are card of action and movement. And your person is very, very much stuck right now. Let's see if we can find out why. In your heart space, Aries, you have options, you have choices. You also perhaps have illusions and unrealistic ideas and, dr and dreams. Are you concerned, Aries, that you... I've put all this time and effort into investing and planning for the future for something that wasn't realistic? Or are you now being presented with alternative options, things that you couldn't see before, things that you... you th yeah, this is an interesting... Yeah, this... I'm, I'm not particularly liking this for you, Aries. This, I'm feeling very much that you have taken time and effort into investing into something. And it wasn't quite what you thought it was, perhaps. There's two sevens here on the board now. Um, sevens are order, progress, um, wisdom. Are you seeing things slightly differently now? Are you understanding that all that glitters is not gold? Have you put your time and effort, Aries, into something that just wasn't what you thought it was? Why, why does your person feel trapped, though? Let's see if we can reveal more of this picture. Your person's heart space. Okay, your, it, your person's waiting for something. Your person... Very, and, and it's not just waiting idly, um, it's waiting with a, an understanding that whatever it is you're waiting for is on its way. Um, the three of ones is progress again. There's a lot of pro progress moving on here. Um, if your person feels stuck waiting for something... But somebody's moving away. It, yeah, I, I, I need a few more cards, although I always find these interesting when they come together. You know, we've got somebody coming, going towards something calm on a boat, and then we have somebody waiting for these boats. So perhaps this is not necessarily a leaving this relationship. This is perhaps moving from a chaotic time in the relationship to a calmer time in the relationship. Let's see what else we have. Um, this is headspace for you, Aries. Oh, Aries. Yeah, th this is a tough card. This is the woulda, coulda, shouldas. This is the sleepless nights. This is the anxiety, the depression, excessive worry. You know, look at this guy trying to rest, trying to sleep. But all of these thoughts are, are weighing so heavily. This is the progression from this to this. Whatever's 
this process that you're going through Aries where you perhaps feel that you have wasted your time planning for a future, investing in a future to discover it's not what you thought it was, has left you deeply anxious and worried and, and hurt, broken almost. I'm really sorry, Aries, if this is resonating for you and this is where you are i mean your person is also in a in a degree of pain but th there's this hope this waiting you know you're planning on the future maybe questioning if that was something you wasted your time on maybe something you want to move away from you, your person's still waiting for something let's take a look at your person's headspace okay your your person's juggling um, they are juggling specifically um, their responsibilities. Um, this is a question of priorities and time management. Is your person, has your person or is your person been not paying you the time or the effort or the investment that you brought to this relationship? Well, you're putting in the work were they ignoring the emotions, this, this waves of emotions that this guy cannot see? Um, in another interpretation of this picture, the tide is actually coming towards the, the juggler here in this card. And he, he still, still, he does not see it. Waters are emotions. Um, it's the cups cards. But this, you know, it's the emotions that he's ignoring in favor of... The whatever he's juggling this is an issue of time management did your person if they if they if they haven't been able to find the time for you to invest in this relationship and that's left them feeling then what are they waiting for why are they waiting for you when it feels that they are the one that did not invest because you know, there were things that prevented them from committing. Other things that were taking them away from focusing on the relationship. Then why are they still waiting for you? What are they waiting for? Because you have invested. You have... Let's see what's in your action towards this person. Action. Action is towards your person. Okay, you want to talk to them. You want to communicate you want to bring them a message of intent. This is air travel. That can mean literal get on a plane air travel. It could mean through um, messages, emails, um, personal messages on social media, a phone call. This is communication. This is fast, rapid action and a message of communication. Your action towards this person is you want to express. You want to talk to them. You need to communicate with them, which feels quite reasonable, to be fair, Aries. Action that your person is taking towards you. Wow. They, they want to come to you too. Um, the chariot is a Leo energy. The chariot is pushing past obstacles. These distractions, this feeling of being trapped. They are waiting, but in order to take action towards you, they have to push past these obstacles. They need to find the time. They need to manage their time better. You know, everybody gets busy, but you, you find time for the people in your life that are important to you. And if you don't find time, then... You cannot blame the other person for questioning if you are truly important to them. If your person has not found the time for you, you are. it's a very reasonable thing for you to consider. They don't want to find time for me because I'm not important enough to them. I have given and I have given and I have invested and I have planned for the future. And now it. I'm finding... You know, I feel like you're, you're sick of it, to be quite frank. You're tired. You're fed up. 
you want to talk to them you want to express things to them they are telling you they want to come to you but they're they something is blocking them from doing that and it's but they're still waiting for you no wonder you're confused aries because i am let's see what your challenges and blocks are for this connection oh six of cups is is, is lovely card it's nostalgia, it's memories, it's soulmates, it's past lives, it's innocence, it's a yearning to reconnect, it's a happy house, it's childhood memories. Um, you either have a deep history with this person or this person may be a soulmate, a, a past life connection. Your challenge is the fact that you planned and invested so much that makes it very difficult to let go because what was it what was the point if you put all that time and effort into something for nothing and that's what's challenging you right now that's what's keeping you awake why did i invest all this time and effort into somebody who just didn't have the time for me who just found so many obstacles to prevent them from coming to me. Yeah, that's tough, Aries. That's really tough. Let's see what your person's challenges are. <laughs> we have a bit of mirroring, um, mirroring, sorry, here. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. They... They want the same thing as you, just there's a difference in speed here. <laughs> I don't need to explain what the Knight of Pentacles is because we went through that in, in some detail at the beginning of the read. But they want the same thing as you, but you, you want it now. You're prepared to take the time and, and the, the steps to do it correctly, but you're energy of coming towards was at the beginning and they haven't quite got to this under they, they don't fully understand is your person younger than you is your person not necessarily younger than you in age but in you know where they are at in their life this is also a potential energy and and i'm afraid to say it aries and like i said at the beginning i, I will offer different interpretations um, and this interpretation here, this might be for some of you, and I think the outcome will confirm or, or not this line of thought. But this pentacle, this knight of pentacles, has his back to this relationship. This knight of pentacles is moving into a space where there are no cards. This is what we refer to in tarot reading as the void. This is future planning away from this relationship. So that's one potential way of looking at this, is that ultimately your person just could not give you what it was that you, you needed. And, and this is, this is a, a moving away towards another future. Let's take a look at the potential outcome of the current situation as it stands. The King of Swords and the Page of Wands. Okay, the Page of Wands is a free spirit. He's going on a journey. This is being excited and inspired by possibility. The King of Swords, wow, he judges situations with his logic. He demands respect. He is cold and he is abrasive. He is cutting away the BS. Um, this is truth, standing in a truth. Um, this is realizing. Okay, so this king is cutting away this page. I feel Aries, this is you and this is your person. I did speak about this immature energy I was getting. And I think the King of Swords has just reached a limit in what they are prepared to accept, at least for now. 
in this relationship. And this is a uh, fine. If you want to go and explore the world and do all of the things that you're focusing on that aren't me, then go and do it because I am done holding space. Perhaps this is the message that you're going to bring. This is something, Aries, that you have worked hard on, that you've invested in, that you are willing to leave now. And it hurts. Of course it does. You know, memories, plans. But this is moving into a very logical head over heart cold you know when you've been hurt by somebody or disappointed sometimes the only option you have is to shut down emotionally and move into your head and only approach a situation with logic this is for a two week block you know the wheel always turns sometimes it's up Sometimes it's down, but it doesn't stop turning. Every cycle reaches its completion and a new cycle begins. So let's take some final advice for you, Aries. From These are not tarot, these are oracle decks. I'm going to pull from the top and the bottom for you today and see what these cards have for you. Compass and Observer. What was I just saying about cycles? The compass is you observing a new direction. You're taking a very careful, hard, close look at a new direction that you want to take. Your advice is to look elsewhere basically turn your compass complete the cycle and find what it is that you are searching elsewhere for now at least who knows what the future holds but for now focus your attention in a different direction that's what i've got for you today aries Thanks for joining me today. I do hope this gave you something. I'll be back in two weeks and we'll either revisit this same story or there'll be a whole new one for you. Have a great day.